here we're looking at uh, one of South Africa's prominent mid-century sculptor, Ezra Mlachai. Ezra Mlachai has his way of taking something raw and painful and turning it into something completely beautiful and powerful. And here we have an example by his work, of his work, uh, The Prisoner, uh, which depicts a young boy, uh, a young man rather, uh, with his arms uh, tied at its, its back. And it is executed with a stylistic approach that you would find in the avant-garde art movement, uh, which is Cubism. It is a bronze cast and it's numbered and, and signed. And it, this is the edition uh, Artist Proof number two. Here we are looking at two examples of robust and yet simplified studies of the goat, also by Ezra Mlachai. And this one is African goat and this is she goat. They are both signed and numbered. This is number one of seven, and this is number four of seven. In Ezra Mlachai's work, we see an amalgamation of Western and Central uh, African traditions of art and the modern ex uh, European expressionism. And uh, we see the, the African influences in the African mask-like head of this goat, and we see the, the European influence in the the, the stylized body of this work. In these two goats, we see uh, an influence by the, arguably the most famous artist, Pablo Picasso. And when you see, when we look at uh, Picasso's she goat, we can immediately see the link between uh, 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 these work and, and the she goat. When we look at the, the face of this goat, we also see the influences by the British sculptor, Lean Chadwick. By, and we see that by the uh, uh, flat screen-like uh, face of, of this she-goat. And this is an example by Lean Chadwick, who was famous for his uh, sharp-edged and stylized figures with uh, uh, flat faces, which are, are sometimes polished with a uh, gold patina. We are excited to be handling these museum-grade works that will be coming up on our November live auction.